me. Yeah. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Entourage Podcast, episode three. It's your boy Jason in the building once again. Alexander Baden from Virginia representing Manchester United as usual. <laughs> Mendingo, I'm represent. I don't really represent here, but I live in Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's the call for VA? Mm. Oh, Daddy Bess from Virginia. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so today we're going to get into a quick discussion about migration experiences. Um, we know majority of us came up here when we were younger, or some of us were even born here, but we can still relate to certain issues. It's, you know, um, like I see a cassette, you know, what back room I know, son, or what did you go through from then, the transition up until now, or how did you survive? You know, those days that they used to call people African booty scratches and all those things, you know, like how was your experience and how did you deal with it? And maybe, you know, we could share that information with somebody that's coming up now and see. That's what we're going to talk about today. So the floor is open, fellas. Let's hear it. I mean, for me, I'm just going to begin my timeline from my time in Ghana. Um, I remember as a little child, like my parents traveled to the United States. I had no idea how they got here. My dream was to, hey, miss me personally, a choir and all this stuff. So uh, for me, it has, it has always been my dream. I remember going to um, Ghana, uh, the American embassy in Ghana doing the interviews. Sometimes I'm trying to remember what I said to the um, white people. But Charlie, bro, for not, you can only already see that, bro, for you right now, Crystal, it's not, it's not that great. So sometimes I can't, I can't even imagine the answers I gave to the white people. So uh, for me, it has, it's nothing short of like a nice experience. And I think America is the greatest country in the whole world. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. Ghana is number two. They can take that spot, but for me, that's that's what I would say for now. So, Alex, let me ask you: like, when you came, you know, did you know English? Like you're saying, you were struggling with English and stuff. Like, I want to know: like, what was the transition transition from coming uh, in going to was, school? It's it's not necessarily struggling with English. It's it's more about the diction and um, like being able to um, portray the right accent to people, like. I remember going to a teacher saying, hey, I want a Politan bag. Um, so it's, it's more about... <laughs> so it, it was more about knowing the, the jargons and um, like all those kind of stuff. So I remember enrolling in uh, English as uh, like a second language class, which most Africans, most Africans were not down with it because they want to be like me. I already know English and stuff. But for me, that was like basically what I meant by saying my English was not like top notch because it's it's in America it's all it's all about the accent and being able to be understood. You know what I mean? And the slang, putting your stick together, and all those stuff. If you tell, huh, huh, I said something there, Oh, I'm sure you So that's my initial like um, experience with coming to the United States. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause coming from Ghana, and also so like you know the British colonization thing kind of had a thing on us. So Spell the same words that you know. would say, and then it makes well, sense. Like I remember, uh, line time by Chimbo cafeteria said Charlie continue. Like huh? Where the cantier? The cantina. I say huh? Niggas. Oh. We're in the canteen, nigga. Oh, nigga, we do some macabre farmer. Say cafeteria. So I guess, Prince, you might as well just tell us how, like, how your experience was. I mean, aside from the canteen issue, what? Yeah, was, me, me, okay, me. The only way I got by was in high school. I was just mad as shit. So, like, they are cut off for and the only thing I like, I help them with their work and stuff, and you know. I could easily get by a moon clan and a Mr. Mania didn't with me. I'm no big shit. And plus high school I used to dance, so I mean I wasn't really clown because I was the clown and <laughs> yeah, I had no more best rates, but so it was it wouldn't really affect me, but I just knew how to maneuver my way through stuff. Because me and I don't know, I imagine that form, but yeah. 
I, I wouldn't say it was hard. It was just different. Mm-hmm. It was just different. I mean, every man say, if it's an A lunch, it's a B lunch, so Charlie, your boy, crrrr, do me, do me, Charlie. My room, all my jeans, every poster, but I'm a guy, I'm a guy. Like, shit. Well, yeah, it was different. He was ro- 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 rocking that Wrangler, right? Yeah, that was, <laughs> when I came, I had this black shirt. Uh, yeah, you designed it. I did miss the car. I'm boy, cheap. I'm a guy. So, so it, was, it, was, it was different, Charlie. I wasn't used to uh, we, every day we go to school. I have to dress different. I got a child school uniform up and down. I'm going to the rap now. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, really, you had to get used to. But I think after the first year, and uh, was normal. I mean, I after yes, we have been doing a cut of seven, and then see see hip hop new beginning, and yeah, 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 rap. Wale. That's how niggas get walked by. So. Oh. Like, yeah, I mean, with my experience, I don't think it was it was that crazy. Like Alex was, uh, like Prince was saying, like. I think it's in the my dream age, my which I mean it still functions in you know. <laughs> <laughs> I used to remember there was one time English teacher like from high school. I had a I guess English honors or something, and then the English teacher was Jamaican. So we had to do like book reports and stuff. And then I did a book report. I wrote the book report and like I had certain words in there like um wardrobe. I didn't know wardrobe was always a closet. <laughs> um <laughs> I said veranda. That was supposed to be a patio or something. Veranda, <laughs> <laughs> pal. Look at veranda. Let me ask you, do you call it a veranda? Like, I got a thing, like, and then the lady circled it. I was like, "What's going on?" She's like, "Mind you, the English teacher was Jamaican, oh, like her accent was crazy." And she used to call me Jason. Jason, your homework. I'm like, "Ah, right, cool." And I'm like, "How are you going to teach me English? You don't even know what you're saying." But I mean, through that, no, I got, I got, you know, close to that. Like you were saying, a lot of people needed help. And then I remember my algebra teacher, like, yo, Jason, if you need help, go to Jason. And so one time I was in like, I think U.S. World History class. And a girl be by, I say, what's your sign? I said, huh? Mm-hmm. I said, what's your sign? I said, what sign? <laughs> what's your sign? Like, you don't, you don't know your sign? Like, are you Leo? I'm like, a Leo? What the hell? It's saying, no, so, okay, what month were you born? I'm a catch and what's your birthday? I'm a catch and no, so, oh, you a Leo. It's a fun, I'm the two, team, you know. I'm like, okay, we'll be the same. So, what's your same? So, I'm a Leo, bro, like, you know. <laughs> and then through that, I you know, just made it through high school. But my high school had a lot of Ghanaians there, you know. Like, after first year, you know, Ghana for I have been. You know, say, they used to print out that honor roll stuff. My question I listen, you know, say, ah, Ghana, Ghana, DB, you know, so I got to find these people so they could be my clique. And then eventually we all met up with each other and then. We formed like our own little circle into the Nagana food in our cafeteria. We all chill, you know, to boom and stuff. So it wasn't a thing really too crazy that I can say, so, oh, we buy any day and I'm out for a time, time or anything. Mine was like an easy transition. So, I mean, I'm grateful to look at me now, bro. You know, so. You're popping and laughing. Yeah, what's up? Gang in a banking. Gang in a banking. Gang in a banking. Gang in a banking. Yeah, I was born here, so you know I didn't really. <laughs> Yo, stop, stop that. Well, 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 I I apologize to you guys because <laughs> to you guys that way, you know, Emma. Um, me buy, you know, I don't know, me buy, you know, now it was tough. Hmm. Uh, this was back in what Columbus, Ohio, represent. Oh my God, how did you come to Ohio? No, no, no. Must have question. The story, no, I have a biography. <laughs> it's like let me buy let me buy it not 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 because it was in middle school and I remember the cafeteria not the tour and one of the one of the boys asked me are you gay and I said yes <laughs> oh, are you gay gay I said yes I didn't know what gay was I mean come on let's be real <laughs> now Ghana Ghana those days you know because I'm happy didn't know what gay was. Nobody. Dad said, "Are you gay?" I said, "Yes, I'm gay." <laughs> and I saw, "Ew, ew." <laughs> it took me a while for me to even know what gay was. <laughs> My dear Jim, yes, 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 yes. So that was one of the things that you know I think said certain things though they will actually try to make fun of you with. So I want to ask you, 
Mm. Americans are. But another thing was say that whole African booty scratch idea. Yeah, maybe GB. <laughs> For me, I got into yeah, fights. I, yeah, I, I got into fights like at least twice or three times. And I think my last fight, I was um suspended from school. But I never went back to that school no more. Because we catch any parents say I'm, I don't want to go back to that school. Because I'm yeah, going to, I'm going to fight. Mm. Because of what was going on. So I changed schools. Um the core new school, trust me, it didn't even get any better. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. It, was, it was like it seems from like frying the pan when you come younger then. From, I just left frying pan to fire. I mean it was the same thing. <laughs> and this new school it was worse. Oh wow. Was it a white school? It took, it took it took some time for me to adapt. And I remember say when it was soccer season and I was playing soccer, that's when they know so I could bobo. And I was starting to pay one seven things. So it was tough. But I think say it takes time for you know for, for people to get to know you who you are, and um, I think that that's how everything start with my boss, you know, best and my old school and all that kind of stuff. So people just stop making fun of you, but it was tough, man. It was tough. I was I was suspended three days in Tokwenti. It was me African booty scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, mine was tall. But right now, as you can see, born and raised in this joint. You feel me? Experience not changing location, my boy. I don't think he has anything to say because I know Delaware. I'm a full crew. I know the other Man, let's hear you, man. Mm. Uh, I'm into that uh, in a uh, unstable car. But I'm to make a So you soon by internet. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but maybe, maybe, you know, what's it? Maybe, but let me show a car. And Taz, yeah, most of the money in Azana Moba. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but, but what? Well, either before middle school and I write around number for middle school. But now I finish to a quarter away. Today, to every Virginia called Delaware. But I mean, my bar and the things were different, man. It's an accent new womb because I'm from Kumas now. I'm a Kumas boy, but free. School, I uh, stop speaking, but I'm not calling it. I never forget. I mean, my bar and my school, and it was just, was just like Delaware, there was no Africans. My God, they say you had Africans. Yes. There was no, I was the only African in school. And you just a jack, me near than full be our intimo for your mobile family. like, as for mood demon, why grow? You might not say something. When I say something, I was be Jimmy Love because I don't want to say it. You're like, we'll be to my family, don't go channel down for say, you'll have a friend from Africa. Like, not just a demon home, like a mood demon home fell. But I mean, a chin and I miss me, you know, old woman, I mean, yeah, cut off for school, middle school, I'm a course, and they'll bear five black people. I'm a far bay two out of four now. Hey, you know, yo, yo, yeah, rap music, yeah, and this year's young bro free. It do time you can come here for join gang. Oh, <laughs> Crips. Was what? I'm <laughs> join gang. Crips. A uh, word? <laughs> Nigga. So you just to be accepted, man, because Obasa now is like, I don't know if you guys felt that, but it's like you. At least who are Ghanaians are Mamu Boss or Kanye, you know, you know, soccer crowd, it was just white people. And when you live in Delaware, and it's like that it's not like over racist, but it's like you can tell there's racism. They're not blacks yeah. crowd knows now African. You know, mm-hmm. but over overall on my side, and the thing that made me a you know say near Delaware, and not my dad was the only African pharmacist as well at that time. Unknown it guy but it could be so it was like or more than that, neighborhood pharmacist, right? They, and to be our call, that's a pharmacist, and that's a pharmacist, and he just came, you know. <laughs> he just came. Right, I'm out for the home, man. Bye, I'm back. <laughs> Fresh off the boat. Uh, that's oh, that's the statement. Ah, I'm me bad for you. No, I'm not going to be a friend. No, I'm pay less. Yo, what, bro? Hey, but, but it seems like when you come at a young age, you, you struggle mm-hmm. more than... No shark shoes, no shark shoes. Mm-hmm. Nigga, shark shoes, oh. My parents, my parents, my parents, red ones, my parents, blue ones, all different shark shoes. No. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say Jordan's, my parents, 
I'm not a Jimmy Red T, I'm a Red Shark shoes. Hey, I'm from Payless, Payless. I can't say you're a department. I'm not a baby. So, so my finish, my finish right now, no, let's say somebody's new and, you know, they've just come to this country and they're watching us. Like, what advice can we give them? I think, like, for me, what I'll say is, you know, do some research because I feel like now is different from back then when we came in, like, you know, 2007, 2008. Yeah. It's changed a lot. You know? I came in 2008, bro. Our word. A word. <laughs> August 8, 2008. That's the Check word. And you want to president? Obama. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. I mean, that year in Obama, we need election. Yeah. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, he stood in the December. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's cool. all we knew. Oh, 10 years. But, but anyway, like I was saying, I think with with our like the time that we came and then these people now everybody's like on social media the hype is there you know so i feel like even you that we become more accepted yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you know we become and more then, accepted, you know? and like right now you know, because of facebook and instagram the ghana phone they are even more bro, for some yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah they they have the accent yeah. you know everything yeah, every, all the culture yeah. before they even I'm get saying, here bro. i'm saying it's yeah. a, it could be somebody who might go through this issue Right now, yeah. Unless they're well, like they are coming from Bodma City, yeah, then that is a fact. <laughs> yeah, that's true. From somewhere to you know to United States, and what advice will you give them? Yeah. Especially, I, just, I think we should me. just There's nothing different from that time to now. African Buddhist scratcher, African Buddhist scratcher. I was still going. Most on. definitely, so I think that person. We should just take it easy and you know just try to get used to the system because. There's been a lot of like people that maybe like our parents, friends that they compare, they do the comparisons like, oh, you know. My friend's child came and then he became mafia. I didn't know how to for and those kind of things. It's easily can easily be distracted because you're trying to fit in so bad, like some people were saying. And so, I think what you gotta do just you know take it easy. It's, it's tough, bro. Like you're trying to fit in, you want to make friends all of a sudden, and you don't have anyone. You don't have anyone. It's, you know, it's like you want to try and do something to stand out. But in the same token, no, one she yeah, be Jimmy, not go for you know fall into the wrong trap. So. Once again, all I'm gonna say is take it easy, get used to the system, and gradually, eventually, you know, you know, you find your your way out, and then you know, you become okay. Yeah. After like a year or two, you know, you get used to the system. Yeah. Uh, me, for me, it's I think you should be more aware of the cultural shock. Um, cause one thing that really took me off was Africans that were born here, and how they treat um like new mm, FOBs. From, uh, like they call them FOBs and stuff. I think that was one of the biggest cultural shock to me because it's like they yeah. changed the, the pronunciation of their names. Oh, um, some even say they're from Jamaica. I'm some cool. say, some yeah. say like I'm not an African. So it's like one of those stuff that you like. So you you start to like take yourself out of those bubble. Like you like uh, where do I fit now? Because it's like people right. that have been here for a while. And people that were born here are not even claiming mm-hmm. you. So, so, like, you need to find all the new FOBs and put, like form your form the, funny your own thing, the funny thing is, right now, all of them are turned to Afrocentric. Yeah, so it's. I swear they are the most Ghanaian people ever now. Yeah, so it's, it's one of those stuff that was very tricky. Like, it's, it's very tricky to, like, able to, like, fit in, especially with that, again back to the accent and all this stuff. Like for me, because of that, I've become so like stubborn in changing my accent. I've become, cause I want to show people that you can still do great stuff mm-hmm. with, with, with yeah. your accent. So I think I've not been able to like change the mode. Like, hey, I want to be able to snack, like slang now. Cause I want people to ask me, where are you from? Every, anytime I open my mouth, I'm like, hey, what? You, you you like that Ghana slang, no? Yeah, so it's it's that's why I've never been able to change my accent. Cause like I'm like, cause my the biggest influence on my life was Kofi Annan. It's like I'm like this guy was the Secretary General of the UN, yeah, and, he, and he never slanged for one bit. Like the guy had like typical. And you're more president right now. No? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like <laughs> I thought he was born in Britain. Anna. I think so. The guy even speaks um, French, French, like real French. So that guy is just different, man. So, oh, yeah. so I yeah. think that's one thing I would say. Like, just be be ready for the um, 
the cultural shock of everything, like people talking about the, um, teachers. Um, yeah, but, yeah, that's but, but, that, but one thing, yeah. one thing yeah. I think Jason said, you no, know, like people coming in these days, you no, know, they are like you, Jack, because yeah, of social media, the they're already exposed thing. to mm -hmm. like how you know, like living abroad, and, like, yeah. mm -hmm. they know everything. Like, and times you have a cafeteria, yeah, they understand the point of point. They have the uh, what is it called? Yeah. That bag now. Um, yeah, so I'm like, I don't even wear that over here. Like these people now coming down, I feel like they have like you know, like already know I don't know. And I we'll be crossing in for a little while, baby Trem. You know, eventually crossing in. Yeah, one thing I'll, I'll say that should be ready for is way to the weather. Maybe by summer. Yeah, yeah, your skin is like yeah, like my body was not accustomed to the high weather like maybe teach me to cover so I say when you are 30 days. <laughs> But winter was okay. I wanted the challenge the day, but okay. I want to be a I want to, but besides that, no, no, no. So African Americans, they they are very very interesting people. Mm -hmm. They like to make fun of people yeah. mm -hmm. to the point that yeah. if you don't have patience, uh, you yeah. might yeah yeah you end up in jail. <laughs> I, I got into a fight right at the bus stop. Um, guy, be the be a uhumi. I uhumi sarem de makushi feel my id. Then when I get home, I will tell my parents about it. Just ignore him. But you see, he in Nipa, and you can only take our parents didn't understand it though. Yes, yeah, you, yeah. Take, you know the, the, the little that you can take. So um that could be bufu see basi man I'm say you today. I will show you where the power lies. What the Ghana English. Like the little cousin become I was with Bonibi. I, we were just home and I'm a parent, but I'm a parent. I'm a parent. I'm a parent. I'm a parent. I'm a Without me even explaining the situation at that time. So, what am I saying? Uh -huh. My friend is saying if someone is being bullied in school, yeah. how should they approach it? Mm. <laughs> That's because it's, it's very tough. tough. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's but, tough. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah. You are going through that situation, you won't know how it feels to be bullied. Yeah. At some point, you hit your breaking point and you're going to lose your temper. That's true. You have been through it. So, how should such like Obia or go through that issue in school? No? Okay, one thing I'll say because I encountered that in, uh, in a PE class one time before, like this. African American guy, I don't know what I did to him, but I, I think he was trying to int intimidate me. So what I did was I just punched the bleachers, like really hard. Boom! Then the, he just stepped back one time, and then I started saying some stuff because I knew they were scared about about the juju -ju stuff. stuff. Yeah, so I was like, that was like my way because my dad told me, yeah. Charlie, say this." So I think our parents need to like. They need to like tell you like the system, like how to be like. Cause if not, you're gonna get into a fight. Cause I was very close, but I was like, let me just do this and see if it's gonna leave me alone, you know. So I, I just punched it like like my bare hand, boom, and then I, I, I like I started saying some stuff, and he just stepped back from me. So yeah, but to answer this question, one thing I can also say is like, if you are a kid who just came to the U.S. right, and you are being bullied because you are African, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. It's hard. It's tough. You know, sometimes as humans, you know, you want to fight back. But you also have to understand that, uh, like, these people, you know, they are jealous of what you, what you are. You actually have a culture. You actually have a background. You are actually somebody, you know, like, you can trace your roots and you have people that care. These people, some of them are crackhead babies and not all Akata people, but some of them, they probably don't even have a home to go to foster care and then move them out. So when they come to school, they take their anger out on us. They are trying to look for somebody to make them feel better. And to you, no, don't let them get to you. Don't let them get to say, oh, no, more corner. You know, you're suspended three days. You're naive. 
Your for African Buddhist catch. I know no be up on your suspend do three days. Who be your papa say do a tema sa no. Don't friends are the uh, part of oh. the problem too. Ni pa kwa na for African Buddhist catch and now worse playing no. No amount tia say sa there na wo no ma. You know so it's like just as a kid no be patient. You know, make friends with people who want the best for you. Like if you know, there's always gonna be people who are not as mean as the other ones. Seek those people, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and just you know, yeah, do what's best for you, man. And an academics is your best friend too. Yeah, oh, man. Once you start getting the honor rolls and stuff, they'll, they'll, they'll know they'll know you. <laughs> Eventually, they'll come yeah. to you for help. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Some half time more bon fine. So yeah. 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 The first middle school I went to, there was no Ghanaian over there. I was the only Damn. guy. Damn, AJ, I'll be right. school, no, I went to. <laughs> that one day, I know I was the only Ghanaian. I switched up to the second one day, that guy had a full womb. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, you're a crowd, you know. Oh, you know, you're a crowd, you know. And you're a crowd, you're a crowd, you're a crowd. But you'll be a friend, you're a crowd. But I think, say, another thing that I, um, I was able to learn was, I made friends with one of my teachers. Mm. Yes. So my thing is make friends with a teacher that mm -hmm. you feel comfortable talking to. Like class, I wish I we had the panel. Subjects, you know. Uh -huh. Teacher, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, like uh, a student who like who's passing their class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who say oh good at or better awesome? Mm -hmm. Let the teacher know what you're going through. Open up to the mm -hmm. teacher. Because teachers always have ways to help you out. Yeah. I mean, there was a time when I mean caught lunch. Me, 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 me lunch time because in that classroom, I'm the teacher and I had a. Okay. If she has a class or she doesn't have a class, I just go there because guess what? I can use her, yes. her computer, and I feel comfortable. That's yeah. Fine. And you know, I think that that is one thing that we can also um anybody that is coming down can also um keep in mind because the thing is if you're going through this issue, uh, you need to open up to an adult in the school. Number yeah. one, you need to let him know. So this and this is what you're going through because Omobema, it can stop. It can stop, yeah. That's me, it can stop. Omobema, it can stop. And right now, no, most first they need no. Right now, no harassment and bullying in this animal, no man. Our best schools in the point say, yeah, yeah. Prince William County, for instance, if you bully a child, you are out. Mm. Yeah, and you know, um, I think that you, you know you need to open up to an adult and then talk about the situation. That will help yeah. too. I don't know if parents are watching our podcast or not, but our parents need to step up too, because yeah. there's a oh. lot of parents that bring their kids into this country, and once they yeah. stay here, it's like they forget about them. It's and like, then we, if, if you play sports in school, cry, we'll give them cry, they won't come watch. Yeah, it's like, so yeah. our support is very bad too, so yeah. like, because okay. I always say, if, I, if, if it wasn't for my parents, man, I wouldn't be where I am right now, because they really looked out for me, it's because... Like, sure hey, they, why your homework? Hey, why you say, like, like, say, 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 like, like, we didn't quite say the system works too, so you need to be careful what you do at school. So, because everything will follow you. you. Yeah, the fact that you, you get involved today will be on your record to the day you die. So, you need to be aware of all those stuff. So, so but, hey, with parents, you know, it's a lot of us, our parents, it was just like, oh, work, 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 work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. My house, it was just work, 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 work. But I think that the parents, if you're watching this, you know, you need to really have time for your kids. Go mm -hmm. to the schools. Like, go to school. game back home. Like, go. go see your teachers, like, randomly. Which is the appointment now. You talk to your teachers. And even these days, cry like, not sorry to cut you off, but these days everything is I think the school systems and they've done everything electronically because I have younger yeah. siblings and mm -hmm. I be hearing my dad go off like, yo, I got an email from your teacher that you didn't do your homework, all that. Yeah. So, so there's so many ways. Just even if you can't make it there, make yourself accessible to the teachers. They can call you, text you or whatever, and you know, they'll keep you in the loop of whatever that's going on in your child. And then you also have to make sure you follow up on it. Don't just tell them, Oh, well teacher is doing your homework into Konakoye and then don't follow up to make sure so much for you, you know, because I don't want, like we're saying, everything will follow you. And for no starting, yeah, it be do what you say. Or transcript, you know, hey. No, you need to get an F, but how to, to get an A. A, yeah. yeah. And, know, and so. also, one thing the parents do, and say, if a parent is watching this, uh, we need to be more, we need to sympathize with our kids, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like African parents don't know how to sympathize, mm. right? 
o akra no abaso o mami ko fo yo they am being bullied and being oh she's no cool school mm. like that's the point she's no cool school like they don't even realize say like emotionally no these people are making you feel aware they should at least sit you down and talk to you and also like yeah, uh, that's why we that's why we having a lot of um kids in the african community who are turning to this bad case yeah, yeah. and they don't really understand why yeah, but yeah, yeah. Okay, you school when you can yeah. say uh-huh. <laughs> that's a ten. Pesuko mm-hmm. school, when people won't even let you study. Pesuko mm-hmm. school, even sometimes to the point say be they might come to your school, talk to the teachers, express how you are feeling and almost yes, sir. Who say Pesuko school ko kun ya so be if you know say do what. You do at them. Yeah, boss crowd. Most of these kids they turn into so we smoking names and no one can see any more. You have to make good friends. Yeah, oh, that too. Friends, friends is very very important. You have to make good friends because especially we do high school. You have to make good friends because the friends who are gangsta gangsta same as starting. Yeah, yeah. Me me madam for me now in high school no or no or no gangsta no crowd with slow bobo. You have to make good friends in high school because people don't remember quite high school. On definitely, you might end up going to college with that person. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's it, true. It's very, very, very important. Say, you be making good friends. That is very, very, very important. Okay. No pressure, there, true. It, it's crazy though, because right now I just thought about like <laughs> high school cafeteria, right? And then. I go there, they have the sandwiches and stuff. They're like, you want lettuce? I'm like, what? Like, you want lettuce? Thank you. Lettuce. What is lettuce? Hey, Charlie, boy, it's a bit real cool. And they're lettuce. It's an alphabet. It is lettuce. You know, I was like, but, I mean, so we're just going to wrap up real quick. Um, I think. Let me do one thing with Mikai uh, Ice. It's actually I want blog. What? Blog. <laughs> but you know the crazy thing is now we look back at these things and we just laugh you know what? It, it's made us what we are now you know it, one of the as, too, so. mm. no but also, the also these days you know it's like being african is like you know being african is like Culturally, oh, like it's, it's acceptable, yeah. like socially yeah, I mean, acceptable. It turns to the uh, movies and the music, no? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And that stuff, no? And no, when you know, everybody, uh, first of all, now Ghanaians, now most of them are Jamaicans, no? And then they swear to God, you are the number one. Yeah, the best Ghanaians. Ghana is the best Ghanaians. Ghana is independent, so I'm not Ghana. 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 It's 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 interesting. So, but yes, stay true to your name, man. And stay true to who you are, man. Yeah, Charlie. And I'm missing me, 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 Ghana is still there. I said, maybe I'll free now. I'll free. Yep. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Don't, you have to be able to adapt into both cultures. Don't oh, just pick yeah. and just forget where you came from. You know, it's in you know, those of the people that they want to try and say, so, oh, I feel them in teach you, be and all that. You got to yeah, stop. Okay, and the brothel will be eternal. Your language to the, uh, you can easily forget. I remember there was times that, you know, I used to make Kasaka and then catch you. I mean, I said, hey, I'm going to do what's not playing with America. Fuck a car, bro. For that band, make a car, bro. For you know. Yeah, so. that's it. Oh, we saw more question. Chibana, they reply back, bro. For see, she my bastard. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what about this one too? Like, cause there has been a badge of honor for your kids not to speak to you anymore. Anymore. It's like parents love it when me ban it on cut you. Yeah. 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 I don't even understand it. Excuse me to say, sir. <laughs> Um, if you're a parent, you are listening to me and <laughs> yeah. um, Obano, like American Yamba, 
are making a big mistake. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of parents that say that you are making a big mistake. Mm -hmm. You need to teach them chi. You need to teach them your culture. Mm -hmm. You are one America, and so what? Woman, woman, or last name, Ghana last name, and other one, oh man, American last name, and now some more about a friend is new quite. One friend is new quite. What you need a four men outside your last name, a man, and a baby. It's you, know, you need to teach them the language. Mm -hmm. Um, and you say as time goes on, your generation, you know, um, your generation will be bringing teaching in the papa, oh, but yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 we need to know what your family know, mm -hmm. what you have to say, yeah, at least you know, so I know, man. Yes. You know, when you say we're going to need store, that's what you say because you say, you know, the way I know my secret and crown, you know, almost a cool crew move. Because Uncle Ghana back to Ghana now will be come once I have a crowd when you can see you do at them. Who's a Spanish in me and in the back of food that? No, 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 but I know so long. I know me who I am, who says very hard for your kids to because Spanish, no. They have Spanish cartoons, they have Spanish everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, so they go to daycare. They spend like more hours at daycare than they do with you at home. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Yeah. 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 But the problem is right now, no, even as you know, when we're talking now, we don't really speak true, true and true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They will also adapt yeah. to that table. Yeah. yeah, it's so hard for them to like pick what language you talk, you're speaking to them. I, I hear a lot of parents that say, say oh, the child will grow and on, 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 you are making no. a mistake. No, 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 no. It's a mistake. 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 Don't make that mistake. It's a mistake. That's true. That's true. Just say things in tree. What do you know in country? So the other partner, I don't know if that's fine. They will never get confused because they will know so we are brofuna we you cheat. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay, no, brofuna, okay. But also, also, me buy me chain and chain. So, what day can I come to dinner? Of course. No, no, no. It's true though. It takes time for an African child to um start speaking because they get confused with one day. But that's how any language is. We are French speaking country. It takes your child yeah for them to start speaking. So I know they're normal. So no water on him. The cones won't on him. Yeah, uh -huh. it is. Come to the crowd on Timin country home. Yeah, and it will take time. A bit better for before it it becomes clear. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think this is a great episode. Um, anyone got anything else to say before we close off for this? Um, my closing remarks is um, man, I'm in the best country in the whole world, man. I say with a smile on my face every day, with no apologies, man. <laughs> the system works, everything works, man. Challenge yeah. is outside the flaws of the United States, right? Which every country has a flaw. So, mm -hmm. so to me, outside the flaws of the United States, I think it's still it gives you the best opportunity at life. Because, man, yeah. I mean, in Ghana, they call SS too. So, I know how the system works. So it goes through. It's not like, yeah, but now nah, nah, we're trying to be like, oh, we're Americans now. Nah. If the system doesn't work, I have to be frank. Ghana system doesn't work, mm -hmm. so the be and war have a system. I have to embrace it. So, the oh, oh, oh. United States. This is heaven. This Bye. is heaven on earth. And when you heaven on earth. Yeah, blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, I think. So that's me. I think this is a land of opportunities, like we all say, and you just have to take, take advantage of things. Yeah, because you know. There's so many opportunities here that, you know, it'll be crampa or society ball or crampo where a crampo crampo it's it's something great. Really pick, you know, as compared to back home. And so, you know, as time goes on, I think once you come, just get used to the system, like I said before, and you know, keep it pushing. So it's gonna be benefit you in the end. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for tuning in once again. We're going to see y'all on the next episode. Make sure, you know, you subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our podcast. Instagram, we're there. We got SoundCloud, Apple Podcast loading. Stay tuned. You know, share with your friends and family. And, you know, we'll catch you guys. Thank you once again. Yo, subscribe, SoundCloud, man. Hey, Mr. SoundCloud. SoundCloud, cloud. Hey, as I did you
All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right, guys. So, yeah, we out. All right. Entourage out. Take care. God bless.